All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Kakodash, and double honors unto the apostles and the elders, GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings, say, taste the hopeful leg out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, pushing to get up out of here, Shalom to the hopeful leg, the believers, the listeners. Who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you. How about Shema Shah? And what I want to get into, all right, today is dealing with the topic. You know, this is inspired by a video done by um, the elder brother Ariala out of Dallas, okay, dealing with, you know, planting the seed, okay, of a high self image, you know, because one thing about it is we came back to who we are as a people, you know, we have been attached to a legacy of greatness, okay, way beyond, okay, anything that this world has taught us, man, okay, because the narrative of Esau, Edom, is that we came from, you know, the, the woods of Africa, okay, to the cotton fields, okay, and the sugar cane fields of the Americas, all right, and evolved into <laughs> Oprah Winfrey and Michael Jordan, okay, Mike Tyson, but nah, man, we have, we come from a legacy of men that ruled the earth in righteousness, man, with great wisdom, okay, we come from a legacy of, 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 of a nation of people whom the Lord, all right, would assist, okay, in war, who the Lord would protect, all right, uh, through miracles, man, okay, we're connected to a legacy that's connected to power, okay? And having that mindset, we start to develop a high self-image, not pride, because it's not of us, you know? But understanding that we're not limited, okay, to the things everyone else is limited to because we have a special connection, all right, with our power and see obedience and faith is making us closer to our power which is making us have more confidence, which is giving us a higher self-image, man. And it's in all humility, man, because you can be, you know, confident and still humble. Okay? You can you can you can be confident and not be proud. Alright? Just having a confident spirit, and it comes from being tapped into the source, man. Okay? Which is your how shot. Alright? And that's creating a high self-image. And righteousness, man, you know, and one of the things I want to harp on is, you know, as we evolve in the truth, man, we should separate more and more from toxic negative energy as much as possible and be around those like-minded men. You know, one thing about it, you know, as you, um, you know, as you go through different phases of life and getting experience, you, you pretty much see how you know, all the unsuccessful people pretty much cleave to each other. And the people that are active and successful, they cleave to each other. And the scriptures speak about that, man. Okay? And let's get it. When you go to um the book of Sirach, 13 and 14, and it says, this Sirach 13, I started at 15. It says, every beast loved his like. And every man loved his neighbor. All flesh consorted according to, to kind. And a man will cleave to his like. A man will cleave to his like. Okay. This is why you have toxic energy piled up. All right. With each other. Like for the workplace. You know, all them negative, you know, toxic, low thinking niggas. All them niggas all are piled up with one another. Okay, just to gossip and, you know, be negative and toxic all day because they're of like mind. They don't even like each other like that, but them niggas are always around each other because they of a of a like mind. Okay? They love to see failure. They love to dwell in gossip and drama. So they of a like mind. Okay? Women, certain women that are just out there, just started out, they with other thoughts. Okay, certain women, you know, who think they on the pedestal with 
I got my degree and all this. They hang with those same type of women. Degenerate niggas, you know, they hang with degenerate niggas, man. Okay? But the people, you know, certain people that move, move, the way people move, they run with people that move like that. Okay? Because it's efficient for them. And that's why with us, we are around the believers most of the time, man. You know? And we around those that move and operate, all right, according to us, because it's efficient for us. We can get a lot. See, when you moving with somebody, all right, that's moving how you moving, okay, it makes your circumstances way more efficient, okay? <laughs> and this is what we're learning in the ministry. And when you go into having a high self-image, okay, it goes, it, it pretty much starts with, within and then what you're surrounding yourself with you know and you know brothers in different situations man but hey if possible man remove from all toxic negative energy that you can man you know that's <laughs> that's 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 not it you know and it says um what fellowship had the wolf with the lamb so the sinner with the godly what agreement is there between the hyena and a dog? And what peace between the rich and the poor? Yeah, because it's different mindsets. Whenever you're around someone with a different mindset, okay, it's going to be a clash. You know, and even some brothers got their own spirits, but I come in ground is the scriptures. Is your how about your mouth shot? Is this standard? Is this hope? Is this promise? We all got that as a common ground. Okay. Now, when you read on, all right, let's go here because when you go into Second Ezra, what was the angel telling Ezra? Man, the angel was a messenger from the Lord. This Second Ezra eight and fifty one it says, "But understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee." So Ezra was concerned was concerned with everyone. Okay, he was concerned with all Israel, but all Israel wasn't concerned about Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. They wasn't concerned about righteousness. So the archangel Uri, like, look, don't worry about that. Seek out the glory for those that be like you, that think like you, that move like you. Okay, like we do these videos for the like minded believers. Okay, we correct, you know, false doctrine and go into different things, but all this for the edification of the like-minded believers, man. Okay, we not here to force someone to get it. Okay, we not here, all right, go to go be, you know, the the hood patrol, you know. But nah, man, if Jake get it, no matter where they from or they background, if they get it, and they understand, and they begin. To become like-minded believers. This is what we're here for. We go all out for the believers, man. Okay? And that's what the Lord, he wants us to invest in those that are like-minded. He wants us surrounded by those that are like-minded, man. Okay? This is um, 2nd Ezra 8 and um, 62. And this is, um, yep, yep, jumping down the same chapter. It said, these things have I showed unto all men. But unto thee, all right, it's just like these things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee, all right? Then answer I said. So the archangel Uriel was telling uh, Ezra, like, look, I haven't showed this to everybody, <laughs> okay? Just like the Lord, he hasn't showed this to everybody, man, okay? This is a, this thing is exclusive. All right, and we don't say it with pride because it comes with responsibility, man. What well, we're a part of comes with major responsibility and sacrifice, man. You know, if we just have the understanding, you know, because we this is just what it is. All we can do is go according to what's written, and we know according to what's written is not given to everyone, man. Everyone is not going to see what we see. They're not going to have the vision that we're going to have, man. All right, and we don't treat them like assholes just because we know it's just a certain way to, it's a limit to how we can move with them or how we can deal, okay? 
You know what I'm saying? We don't look down on them, and you know, we just know. Okay, we can't move. I can't move with with them like that. I can't move with him, her like that. Like, nah, they don't move. You know, I'm moving in a certain way, and it, I can't. It's a limit to you know how we can deal. You see? So let's go from there. I want to go get two examples. Well, really three. Let's start here with the book of Mark. This is the book of Mark, chapter 2, verse 1. It says, And again he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was noise that he was in the house. And this is, um, he is your house shy. And straight away many were gathered together, and so much that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door, and he preached the word unto them. All right, so it was packed. You know, he was teaching, and it was packed. And it says, and they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof, all right, where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of palsy lay. Now, I want to focus on this account, all right. First, let's deal with verse three. It says, and they came unto him, bringing one sick of palsy, which was born of four. Okay. So he, it was four men carrying this one paralyzed man on the mat. Okay. It says, and when they could not come nigh unto him for the press. So they was restricted. They couldn't get to Yahweh Shai because it was, it was, it, it was full. It was, it was packed. Okay. Now, now mindset kicks in. These four men was of the same mindset. First off, they were solution minded. When they seen it was a problem, it was a barrier, they didn't shut down, you know, drop their shoulders and say, damn, you're going to have to be paralyzed another day. Like, nah, they had their mindset like, we're going to get to your house shot. <laughs> you see? And that's the men, all right, that's the type of believers that we want to be around in these times is, 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 is those that are determined. Like, look, ain't no plan B. They didn't have no plan B. When it came, you know, they're like, nah, we going to get to your house shot. They were solution minded. Okay. They came into a barrier. They came into, you know, an obstacle. And what did they do? They came up with a solution. Okay. And that's what we want to be around, man. Solution-minded individuals in these times, man. Okay? What would what would niggas would you know? Come on, man. What niggas would have did, man? You know, when they, you you gonna have to be you must want admit, man. Come on, cause you know you know how niggas is, man. All right, and it says, and when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of palsy lay. So they went on the roof, tore part of the roof off, and then laid them laid them before Yahweh Shai, man. That was labor. They had faith, but they showed their faith through works. It was action. They became extremely proactive. And this guy that was paralyzed, he was around the right crowd. Those four men. He was a he 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 had surrounded himself by the right people, man. They were like, nah, we gonna we gonna we gonna make this happen. Okay? And he was he, he was coming, and next thing you know, he was coming from the roof in the front of your house shot, man. Okay? You know, hey, that's one thing. If you got faith, you know, faith is proactive, man. Okay, there's things that we can't control and the Lord, you know, he 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 he's going to well, he, the Lord's going to show that he is. Okay? And then there's times well as we're being proactive in the things we can control and things we can do, the Lord starts to bless that action, that labor, man. These men labor and faith was blessed. Okay? Their labor that they showed all right, that their faith that they showed through their labor was blessed. 
Okay? And it says, when Yahweh saw their faith, he said unto the sick of palsy, son, thy sins be forgiven thee. All right? So he, he was forgiven. Okay? Which means he was healed. <laughs> you see? All right? Well, that's another story when you go into it. All right? But that was the point dealing with that account. So let's get Matthew. This is the same book, Mark chapter 5. This is Mark chapter 5, verse. This is Mark 5 and 35. It says, um, I'm going to start up a little bit. So here's Yahweh Shai. You know, he was told about a, a damsel that had died. So as Yahweh Shai is making his way over there, okay? And this is the same time when the woman who had the issue of blood 12 years touched his garment. She fought through the press touched his garment and was healed another all right account of you know faith producing labor okay showing faith through labor she had to labor through the crowd just to touch your house shot so when he's you know almost to the house where the damsel you know was uh, had died all right this is the account this is mark 5 and 34 and it says and he said unto her daughter thy faith have made thee whole Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. While he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troubles thou the master and the father? As soon as Jehovah heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, but believe on it. So you had this Jake with the, the mind said, Like, look, don't even. You know, trouble yourself. Okay, she did. It's over. Jake was defeated. Okay? So what did Yahweh Shah say? He said, be not afraid, only believe. Okay, and there's a thing like we really tapping into the belief of Yahweh Shah in these times. Like we really, really just starting to really tap into that belief. Like everything possible. This is this is this is light. Like the things we go through, man. These things are really light, man. Like the, anything is possible in Yahusha. You know, but the Lord, he a hey, he requires faith to be shown by some action, man. Okay, and I say in these are times we want to be around. All right, believers. All right, that. Show faith through action, man, that are moving, that are in motion, man, that are not defeated and just pummeled down, which we all have our low points, you know, but the thing is to fight back, <laughs> you know, it's the, it's the fighting our way back into this thing, man, okay? And <laughs> so as he, you know, you have a shot, like, look, just believe, man, <laughs> you know? It says, and he suffered no man to follow him, Say Peter and James and John, the brother of James, and he come into the house of the ruler of the synagogue and see if the tumult and them that wept and wailed greatly. And when he was come in, he said unto them, Why make ye this ado and weep? This damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. All right. So he like, you know, what's the what's the what <laughs> y'all crying like it's over, like you know. Uh, y'all crying and weeping like it's over. Like, I ain't, you know, like, I ain't me. Like, y'all was shy, like, you know? And then sometimes Satan to have us forgetting that who you how was shy is, man. You know? Satan to try to bog us down with certain situations and we'd be like, you know, like, you, we, we'll really sleep on your how shot, man, and what he's capable of doing. You know? So, your how shot be like, I'm, I'm me. Like, you know? Like, what you... What you mean? Sleep me dead. Come on, he sleep, man. Come on, man. You know? And then, so this is their reaction when he says she was sleep. And they laugh him to scorn. Okay? They laugh him to scorn. This is this is Jake with what? The, the negative, toxic, unbelieving, 
low self-esteem, low self-image, them niggas, man, that crowd. That was a crowd that was laughing because they didn't see nothing great in themselves. So you know they ain't see nothing great in Yahweh Shai. Okay? So what did Yahweh Shai do? But when he had put them all out, he taketh the father and the mother of the damsel and them that were with him, Peter, James, and John, and entered in, in, and entered in where the damsel was lying. And so what did he do? He removed all them unbelieving niggas out the room, man. You know? He 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 removed them niggas from the scene. You know? And that's why to the best of our ability, man, you know, if you can, man, be away from toxic, low self-image, low self-esteem. And we are recovering from these things, man. But Jake just wilding that shit, man. You know? That never-ending blues song, Woe Is Me, man. Nobody want to hear that shit, man. Okay? That down there, you know, you you come with a solution. This nigga, I don't, nigga, I don't think this nigga can come up with how it's going to go wrong. Or what if for the problems, you know, the obstacles he facing. And all that. Nah, man, you know. <laughs> yeah, I wish I removed all this toxic, okay, low self-image. Uh, low self image energy away from him man verse 41 it says he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her um, Talitha Kami which is being interpreted damsel I say unto thee arise and straightway the damsel arose and walked for she was of the age of 12 years old and they were astonished with a great astonishment and he charged them straightly that no man should know it and it and it and Commanded that something, all right, should be given her to eat. So Yahweh Shai, when he removed, okay, the BS, then he was able to be great. And see what a lot of us, we got to remove BS, man. The BS that's within us, we got to remove that, you know, first and foremost. And then you got to, you know, be around those that are like-minded more, man. That's when Yahweh Shai can be great, when he's around an atmosphere of belief, an atmosphere of confidence, an atmosphere of being proactive, you know, with the faith and the wisdom that we got, man. You know, that's when your house shot is it performs at a high level around atmospheres of faith. You know? And I want to end it here. Alright, this is um Sarah 37 and 11. All right, it says, neither consult with a woman touching her of whom she is jealous, okay? Neither with a coward in matters of war, nor with a merchant concerning exchange, nor with a buyer of selling. See, these are mindsets, okay, that, that conflict, you see? Oh, it says a woman touching her of whom she is jealous okay <laughs> you see is it neither with a coward in matters of war why would you go get a coward if you needed a man of war okay that's failure before it starts all right a merchant concerning exchange no a merchant sells things Okay, you you want to deal with a merchant. A merchant has a mindset to win. It's not gonna be fair. You trying to exchange and get a a, a fair trade. He trying to profit. <laughs> okay, it says nor a buyer of selling. Yeah. So if you want to sell, if you like, you have a mindset to profit and to gain and 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 and, and, and you know do business. You know, you wouldn't deal with someone who's a consumer because their mindset is going to be different. They're not going to see it from a business perspective. Uh, you know, a thing of being profitable, their mindset is consuming and buying. So what you, there's nothing you can talk about them with the things that you want to do because they they not into that. <laughs> okay? So it's going to be a conflict. They mind not, don't think like that, man. You know, and it says, 
nor with an envious man of thank thankfulness, nor with an unmerciful man touching kindness, nor with the slothful, nor with the slothful for any work, nor in hiring for a year of finishing work, nor with an idle servant of much business, hearken not unto these in any matter of counsel. So the scripture is letting you know, look, if they not in the mindset that you in, you really can't move with them. Okay, because it's going to be a conflict. They're going to be mad at you because you, they like, damn, he doing too much. You know, you're going to be mad at them like, damn, he bullshit. <laughs> you see, it's going to be a conflict. <laughs> you know? So that's why the scriptures tell us to be around what? Those that are like-minded. Surround yourself around those that are like-minded as much as possible. Okay? So, there was a point, you know, Lord will, you brothers, you know, and you few sisters were edified once again. I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kapadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who rule well, teach well, being great examples towards younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful, Shalom.